This is the victim's DNA profile. Mm -hmm. This is my DNA profile. You see the autosomal markers? They're the same in both samples. Yeah, well, the lab keeps all of our genetic profiles just in case we contaminate a sample. So, obviously, it's been contaminated. No, th there's enough markers in the comparison of the DNA to, to make a definitive conclusion. <laughs> so, what are we concluding? Just look. They match. And how did that happen? Mora, you must have done something screwy. No, I didn't. It's a biological match. Mora, what are you telling me? That the, the guy on the table here is somehow related to you? I'm telling you that the man laying there is my brother. I don't know anything about him. I, I don't know his name. I, all I know is that he was a thief. And a, a, a brilliant artist. That's not enough. I, how did he end up on my table? Now, why did he do what he did? What if I never know? What do you know about your biological parents? Nothing. My parents told me that my, my adoption was private uh, with their lawyer. All they knew was my birthday. So our Vic burns his fingerprints off, but this little contraption can still tell who he was? Yeah, and we think Beckett used it to sell him out. So the two built this unit together, and then Beckett used it to identify John Doe's real identity. So who is he? Well, here's what's stored. Call him Doyle, but he's not in the system. He won't be. Look up Patrick Doyle. Why, who's that? You heard of Patty Doyle? Yeah, of course. The, uh, the Irish mob, the enforcer. Colin was his son. What? Doyle was Whitey Bulger's right-hand man. Disappeared about the same time Bulger did. He'd been in hiding for 20 years. Oh, my God. What? Listen to me. You are in danger. No, I'm not. As long as Patrick Doyle is out there, yes, you are. He's not gonna kill me. Whoever killed Colin will not hesitate to kill you if they figure out who you are. I know what you've heard about me. Most of it's true. But you should know, I've always kept an eye on you. High school graduation. I was at your college and medical school graduations too. Why? You're my daughter. You're in a great deal of danger. The police can't keep you safe, you know that. If I can get to you, so can my enemies. I can take care of myself. Patrick Doyle wants me to feed him information about the case. Well, yeah, I bet he does. That's why he's back. Revenge. I don't know. I don't know. I am. I'm supposed to call him with Colin's killer once we, we've discovered who it is. Jane, he had photographs of me throughout my life. Well, he wants to protect you. Maybe we should just let him handle it. No. No, no, I'm not, I'm not looking at helping him kill another human being. Even if it keeps you alive? Just tap the car in front of us. That was the killer's voice. I loaded every recording we have on our list of suspects. FBI wiretapes, interrogation tapes, courtroom testimony. Tommy O'Rourke, who's that? A lot worse than Patty Doyle. It's Tommy O'Rourke. Some would say it's a fitting in for a killer. It's me. It's a baby. With Doyle. Who tipped him off? Not me. You said not to. I think the message is pretty clear, though. Don't mess with my family. You do what you need to do to protect family. 